Hey guys, Constance here at Good Life Farm. So, um, as you can see, I'm out here in my greenhouse. This is not the video that I had planned for today. Um, my plan was to film a blueberry preserves video, but that kind of didn't end up happening today. I, I actually started um, making the preserves um, hold on. Before I get into that, first of all, you may notice I got my glasses on today. You probably can't tell from this distance, but, um, this portion of my face is a little puffy. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, my Facebook page, um, you may have seen that yesterday morning I got up bright and early, did the chores, loaded up in the truck, and headed over to the home of the very sweet family who lives here in my area who last year invited me over to dig up some um, blueberry and raspberry starts and then later had me come back and do blueberry picking just a lovely lovely family well they had invited me to come back blueberry picking again because it's they're in season and of course my little Blueberry bushes are only like yay big and I only got a couple handfuls off of those and so I headed over there to go um, blueberry picking and it being a very bushy sort of area you know I wanted to put on bug spray so I didn't get eaten up so I got there I put on my boots I sprayed myself down with my wonderful doTERRA um, essential oil mix, the um, uh, Terra Shield blend, which I use out here all the time. It keeps the mosquitoes, the biting gnats, keeps all that stuff away from me. It's wonderful. And grabbed my my baskets and headed on up the hill to the blueberry grove. Got up there and I was, you know, chatting and and I had picked a handful, one handful of blueberries had just dropped them in the basket the very first handful when all of a sudden I felt this horrible pain on my face and I went like this and I realized it was a bee I had just been stung right under my eye like on my lower eyelid by a bee and no sooner did I whack it off of me when I felt more of them landing on me. So I'm, I'm swatting, I'm trying to get these bees off me and they kept landing on me. So I took off running down the hill, just doing one of these numbers and um, ran into their workshop and closed the door because these bees were coming after me. And uh, the, the gentleman, the dad of the family came in there and helped me get the stinger out of my eyelid and was like, I have never seen anything like that. You know, they've lived there for years. They've got honeybees and he's never seen anything like that. Well, um, we kind of waited for things to calm down because you could hear the bees outside like buzzing. And so we waited a little bit and then we went back out there and I went to the far end of the grove away from the beehives and like he brought my baskets over there for me and everything and it was fine it was fine after that and I picked two great baskets full of blueberries uh, blueberries for me blueberries for a friend of mine and it was we were good from there However, of course, I was stung on the face <laughs> by, a, by a honeybee and swarmed by honeybees. And so I came back home, you know, I did take some Benadryl and all of that. And um, when I had posted about it on Instagram and Facebook, uh, one of the, the people that follow my Facebook page asked me what, you know, oil blend I had used. And I told her it was the doTERRA um, Terra Shield, you know, pest repellent blend. And she made a comment that I'd never heard before. But when I read it, it completely made sense. 
She said that the doTERRA Terra Shield blend, the fragrance of that mixture, mimics the scent of a scout bee looking for hives, looking for a new home. So that completely makes sense. Here I was, freshly sprayed down, and I was maybe 10 to 15 feet in front of a hive. And if I smelled like scout bees, that would absolutely trigger the, you know, the guardian bees of that hive thinking that something was coming to attack their hive. So that totally made sense. Now, of course, that said, do I still want bees on the homestead? Because, you know, I've bought some hives. I've been buying the equipment a little bit here and there. And the plan is for in the spring to get my bees and bring them here. Um, yes, I do still want, I do still want bees. Um, however, I had been rethinking where I wanted to put them because my original plan was to actually locate the hives inside the fence in the front garden at the far end away from uh, my raised beds. But I had been kind of rethinking doing that. And after um, this little experience, that just confirms that I don't want to put the hives right here in the garden. Um, my secondary plan was right back there, right out those windows, and my battery's about to die, so one moment. All right. So my secondary plan is right out there. You can see the tree line on the edge of the pasture right there. So the other option was to put the bees right out there because if I put them near that tree line, it would provide shade to the hives in the late afternoon when it is just a gazillion degrees out here. And so it would actually provide shade for the hives in the late afternoon because you know it being Alabama it gets really 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 hot most summers um, and that would provide shade from that intense afternoon sun that's the same reason um, I planted all of my blackberries on the other side of my our little barn shed um, because it protects them from the afternoon sun and um, putting the blackberries in that spot has been um, very very successful they grow so well out there big juicy insanely good blackberries and so um i had been thinking about putting the bees out there instead and after my little stinger to the eyelid <laughs> that just kind of confirms that that would be a better spot because i am out in my garden all the time sprayed down with essential oils. You know, sometimes it's the doTERRA blend, sometimes it's a another blend that I've got the recipe from um, Rachel at that 1870s homestead last year. Um, I'm always out there in the garden. Well, I'm often, well not, not always, I'm often out there in the garden um, with essential oils on to keep the bugs from biting me because the mornings aren't usually too bad but the evenings the late afternoons are awful awful with the biting gnats and so I don't want to anger my bees and having them attacking me <laughs> when I'm in my garden so I think putting the bees right out there will be a better location. Now, the reason I wanted to put them out here in the front garden is because they would be fenced in and they would have electric fence around them and everything to protect them from things like raccoons and all of that. With the bees being out there instead, of course they wouldn't be protected by that fence. So I'm actually going to just build a just a little fenced in area, like the bee yard. And I don't know if I'll put electric fencing out there or not at this point. We'll just kind of have to play it by ear and see how it goes. But there will at least be a fence out there around them. So that was my little adventure with the, the bees yesterday at the Blueberry Grove. 
and you know I mentioned how our summers here are usually hot well we have had the wettest mildest summer I think I've ever experienced so far living here in Alabama uh, it is crazy I mean I'm sitting here in my greenhouse and I I normally would not be able to be in here uh, this time of day. It would be so hot in here, and yet it's perfectly comfortable. I'm not even sweating. Um, it has been so wet that the blueberries that I went and picked yesterday were so incredibly juicy that the recipe I was making today it was taking longer to cook down than it normally would. Normally it would take like four to six hours and it would be cooked down and ready for the next step. Um, it cooked six hours and it's nowhere near ready because those blueberries were so juicy. So I'm letting it actually cool down and I will finish it tomorrow um, in the afternoon and then I will do the next steps and can it and all of that but I will be using my steam canner to do that and I'm going to preserve this recipe in some weck jars uh, those lovely um, lovely little jars that I've been collecting for canning with the reusable seals and reusable glass lids so that is the plan um, like I said my preserve recipe is what was supposed to be up today but that kind of didn't work out. So you can look forward to that later this week, along with the announcement for the winner of the giveaway. So that'll be coming on Friday. So thanks for hanging out with me here in the greenhouse. Um, puffy eye and all. <laughs> My name is Constance at Good Life Farm, and I'll talk to y'all next time.